TILDA is a longitudinal study on aging where we're following over a long period of time the same 8,500 people aged 50 and above in Ireland. It helps us to inform policy, to develop new treatments and new innovations in technologies to make aging a better experience in Ireland. So some of the key findings of the study with respect to health, for example, were how common obesity is. 35% of people over 50 were obese and a further 44% were overweight. Now, these are pretty remarkable figures, one of the highest in Western Europe. And associated with that obesity and people being overweight were very high rates of diabetes mellitus, of heart disease such as heart attacks and angina and high blood pressure, and arthritis. Further findings related to drinking. Problem drinking is common in Ireland. Over one in five men are problem drinkers. That's drinking that interferes with employment or relationships. And over 10% of women were problem drinkers. Now that's an increase over the two year period. Um, and that's a worry. Furthermore, we identified that arthritis was very common. Over half of people over 75 had significant arthritis. And of course, this will further influence physical activity, pain, and medication use. The more medications you're taking, the more likely you are to have side effects from the medications. And one of the big side effects of polypharmacy are falls. Fall rates also increased, such that one in four women over 50 had fallen at least once in the previous year before the data collection. And 10% overall of the sample required medical attention because of a fall. So these are worrying figures and something that we're working with our policymakers to rectify. Furthermore, prostate and breast screening uptake is high and that's a good thing. That's free at source. That contrasts with the uptake for flu vaccination, which is dependent on your medical card cover, otherwise one has to pay for it, and the uptake for this was indeed low. Since 2008, of course, Ireland has gone through the worst period of social and economic austerity since the Second World War. And over the last two years, between wave one and wave two, there have been a number of budget adjustments and policy changes which have influenced the lives of people over the age of 50. So the study allows us to understand more the implications of those policy changes in the context of health, economics, and also social interaction. Over the last two years, again during this period of austerity, the threshold for medical card coverage has changed. And we've seen this reflected in practice in TILDA, in that the over 65 year olds have increased their private health care insurance cover. And this is coupled with a decrease in health cover in the 50 to 65 year old age group. This might be reflected in concern amongst older people about whether or not they will be covered should they become ill. And of course, the worry of illness, it becomes more acute as people get older. That's coupled with the capacity for the younger age group to actually fulfill the requirements uh, financially of health cover. To date, the TILDA project has been a great success. We will continue to work to create an environment of evidence-based, intelligent, informed, policy and work very closely with our policymakers to achieve this. We will also be able to continue to monitor and evaluate changes in policy and the influence and effect they're having on society in Ireland. This is important given the huge demographic changes that will take place in Ireland over a very short period of time. In the next number of years, the proportion of people over 80 will triple. This will have a dramatic influence on our society TILDA will be a core information structure on which to create an environment in which it's good to grow old in Ireland.